Madam President, we've had uh, a severe act of Mother Nature uh, in Florida and a number of other southeastern states where uh, skies of biblical proportions in dumping rain have occurred. There was in Pensacola, Florida, close to 25 inches of rain that fell within a 24-hour period. The counties in Florida, Escambia and Santa Rosa County were particularly hard hit. And just today, the governor of Florida requested a major disaster declaration from the president and sought assistance for that part of Florida. I've passed along the governor's request to the White House and ask that it be approved as soon as possible. Uh, right now, the state of Florida government, local governments as well, are assisting people in need and they are surveying the damage to assess the extent of the storm's impact. And we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that the people have the, the uh, assistance and the help that they need during this very difficult time. And of course, it wasn't just in Florida that these storms hit. It's a number of states, Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Georgia, and as the... Uh, storm proceeded on upwards, uh, it occurred in a, a lot of the southeastern United States, but particularly uh, those states plus ours in northeast Flor uh, northwest Florida is where it really hit the hardest. Uh, many people have worked around the clock to save lives and to provide support in the immediate aftermath of the storm. Thank goodness that there is a Florida National Guard that is as experienced as it is, and it is experienced because uh, we are accustomed to storms, particularly hurricanes, but we're not accustomed to 25 inches in 24 hours and all emergency personnel uh, are down there helping out. According to Florida's request for federal assistance, in addition to the spinoff tornadoes, some parts of the panhandle received this enormous amount of rain, and another indication is that in just one hour, 5.68 inches of rain fell in one hour in the city of Pensacola. It brought floods. It destroyed homes, roads. It destroyed essential infrastructure. If you've seen any of the views on television, then you've seen the devastation. You've seen people being pulled out of the water, cars completely submerged, portions of roads taken out, and it has occurred in multiple states. And so responding to a disaster like this is a critical responsibility for not only government in general, but for the federal government and the unique things that, and people and services that the federal government can provide. It's one of those things that government is supposed to do for people. It's supposed to help out in times of emergency. The president has already declared a disaster in Arkansas and Mississippi and Alabama, making federal resources available there. I hope the president is going to do the same for Florida. 
Sometimes challenges are just too great for any one local community or state to take it alone. The unique position of the federal government in a time like this is by coordinating resources and people across the nation to solve our biggest challenges. And a lot of that is done through FEMA and who better to have the help ready than the head of FEMA who is a Floridian and who was the head of Florida's emergency department before President Obama tapped him to be the head of FEMA. So with this terrible toll on people's lives, I hope that this will serve as an example of how we can all come together when people are in need. And clearly our hopes and prayers, our thoughts are with the people that are affected by these storms.